Supply chains in the wild are intrinsically risky. Vulnerable to cybercrime and cloud computing risks, as well as organizational neglect and unmet needs, the practice of risk management using smart and trusted tactics is necessary because software-based supply chains are inherently insecure. The risks and uncertainties are prolific and vulnerabilities abound. The combination of unmet needs, industry neglect, and austerity, coupled with the immature state of software, cybersecurity, and cloud computing infrastructure, yield a rich environment of uncertainty and risk. Software and Supply Chain Management Assurance is the application of risk management principles and practices to reduce uncertainty in the assurance of software-intensive supply chains through the use of software-based smart and trusted tactics designed to deliver consequential outcomes in assuring supply chain trustworthiness, security, resilience, coordination, control, and flexibility. Goals associated with smart and trusted software and supply chain risk management include maintaining infrastructure, being trusted, being competitive, and being austere. An industrial strength software risk management practice is one that treats risk as uncertainty, carefully distinguishes risk from the sources of risk and problems, and doesn't use risk management as an off-ramp to avoid actually solving problems. Based on analysis conducted, factors evaluated, sources of problems identified, and problems representing objectives in a failed state, the software and supply chain assurance risk is assigned high risk, driven by the numerous infrastructure factors in a failed state, including austerity risk, software risk, internet risk, and cloud risk. In addition, trust and competitiveness are assigned moderate risk. With austerity as the context and contemporary software and security as unmet challenges, the software and supply chain risk management assurance framework focuses on the infrastructure of management, engineering, process, technology, and skills needed to acquire, field, and operate trusted, competitive, and austere software-based supply chains with intelligence and confidence. The features of the assurance framework span vulnerabilities, supply chain maturity, risks and problems, goals and outcomes, factors, operations framework, and assurance assertions. Recognize that competitiveness is like flood water, finding or creating its own path. Competitiveness impacts both so software and security as it favors offshore outsourcing and further impacts security as innovation drives towards mobile and bring your own device. Recognize also that software and security are connected at the hip through the elusive attribute of trustworthiness and together impact competitiveness in a not-so-virtuous cycle of interactions. We need only to look at the indiscriminate use of the internet and cloud computing for proprietary information an enterprise cannot afford to lose and cannot protect to locate critical and irreconcilable supply chain assurance uh, risks. The intended benefit statement for the software and assurance framework is to deliver smart and trusted supply chain acquisition and operations. The factors populating the framework begin with a heavy duty focus on trust, beginning with trust in industrial frameworks, industry state of the practice, and the underlying skills and body of knowledge. From there, other factors utilize smart validation mechanisms with rigorous confidence levels spanning management, engineering, and process operations. Finally, data-driven decision-making is fueled by a range of metrics for assurance, compliance, non-compliance, product engineering, management, and process. The Department of Defense, the Defense Industrial Base, and the nation's critical infrastructure all face challenges in supply chain management.
These diverse challenges span infrastructure, trust, competitiveness, and austerity. Beginning with acquisition, where supply chain foundations are laid, software and supply chain risk management assurance extends into operations and sustainment. Focus areas include fielding high-quality conforming products and systems free of defects, sustaining business continuity, establishing and maintaining cybersecurity protection and resilience, assessing trust in the chain of custody of components, and detecting counterfeiting and tainted components. A software and, and supply chain risk management assurance framework is needed to systematically assure the essential attributes that deliver consequential outcomes. The software and supply chain risk management assurance framework spans a wide range of goals, objectives, elements, and issues associated with systems and software management, process, and engineering, methods, practices, technologies, tools, and indicators used in acquisition and operations. When essential capabilities deliver consequential outcomes, it is easy to pinpoint the features, benefits, and advantages. Not so easy is to frame the goals and objectives for an industry initiative in advance. Some of the questions that need to be explored include the top 10 questions shown here. Number one, what is the vision and mission of software and supply chain risk management? Number two, what are the goals and objectives of software and supply chain risk management? Number three, what are the goals and objectives of the software and supply chain risk management framework? Number four, what are the envisioned essential capabilities of acquisition and operations that deliver consequential outcomes? Number five, what are the consequential outcomes of acquisition and operations along with their features, benefits, and advantages for each essential capability? Number six, how do the attributes of infrastructure, trust, competitiveness, and austerity factor in? Number seven, what are the elements of software and supply chain risk management that need to be assured? Number eight, what are the sources of risk associated with software and supply chain risk management assurance? Number nine, what are the problems associated with software and supply chain risk management assurance? Number 10, what are the indicators, measures, metrics, and analytics associated with software supply chain risk management assurance? Features and foundations of the framework include vision and mission, benefit, necessity, definition, approach, vulnerabilities, supply chain maturity, goals and outcomes, factors identified, risks and problems, operations framework, and assurance assertions. The vision and mission for the Software and Supply Chain Management Assurance Framework initiative is to advance the assurance of smart and trusted assurance policies and practices for both government and industry. The intended benefit statement for the Software and Supply Chain Risk Management Assurance Framework is to deliver smart and trusted supply chain acquisition and operations. Supply chains in the wild are intrinsically risky, vulnerable to cybercrime and cloud computing risks, as well as organizational neglect and unmet needs. The practice of risk management using smart and trusted tactics is necessary because the software-based supply chains are inherently insecure, the risks and uncertainties are prolific, and vulnerabilities abound. Software and supply chain risk management assurance is the application of risk management principles and practices to reduce uncertainty in the assurance of software intensive supply chains through the use of software based smart and trusted tactics designed to deliver consequential outcomes in assuring supply chain trustworthiness, security, 
resilience, coordination, control, and flexibility. With austerity as the context and contemporary software and security as unmet challenges, the software and supply chain risk management assurance framework focuses on the infrastructure of management, engineering, process, technology, and skills needed to acquire, field, and operate trusted, competitive, and austere software-based supply chains with intelligence and confidence. Supply chains are vulnerable to cyber crime and cloud computing risks, as well as organizational neglect and unmet needs. Cybercrime is shifting from attacks on target organizations to attacks on their offshore operations. Some competitors actually engage in attacking the supply chains of competitors. Controlling these event threats is a challenge. Cloud computing vendors resist offering service level agreements that safeguard cloud user proprietary data and information. Technical debt spanning management, engineering, and process is increasing. The Harvard Business Review prescribes an antidote for dealing with supply chain threats and risks spanning redundancy, flexibility, and cultural change. While redundancy can buffer the effects of a threat, it comes at the cost of inhibiting efficiency. Flexibility to withstand disruptions is achieved by standardized processes and common parts, coupled with close supplier relationships. Cultural change centers around continuous communication with built-in distributed authority close to the action, enabling quick response. Setting goals is the first step in managing risk. Goals are attributes to be assured. Goals associated with smart and trusted software and supply chain risk management assurance include maintaining infrastructure, being trusted, being competitive, and being austere. Objectives associated with goals are factors with consequential outcomes. Risk is uncertainty and the prospect for loss or gain depending on the outcome of an event. Sources of risk and problems are often confused with risks. A source of risk is a current factor contributing to the uncertainty of a future event. A problem is an earlier risk whose consequences are currently being played out. The combination of unmet needs, industry neglect, and austerity, coupled with the immature state of software, cybersecurity, and cloud computing, yield a rich environment of uncertainty and risk. Some risks may be low probability and high impact, perhaps the infiltration of counterfeit components. Other risks may be high probability and low impact, such as certain routine cybersecurity viruses. However, since trust in the supply chain is a primary goal, any uncertainty that threatens trust must be considered potentially high impact. Software and supply chain management assurance involves the assessment of trust in the chain of custody of components, the detection of counterfeit and tainted components, and much more. The Software and Supply Chain Management Assurance Framework spans a wide range of goals, objectives, elements, issues, and factors associated with systems and software management, process and engineering, methods, practices, technologies, tools, and skills, underlying acquisition and operations. Infrastructure is maintained by assuring a focus on supply chain risk management risk management, assurance assertion management, capability maturity model integration, state of austerity, state of software, state of security, state of cloud security, NIST cloud computing reference architecture, NIST cloud service level agreements, and NIST cyber framework. 
Trust is achieved by assuring a focus on, on NIST cloud service level agreements, NIST cyber framework, cyber tactics, software assurance, trusted chain of custody, counterfeit and tainted component detection, software product engineering, trustworthy software engineering, and technical debt. Competitiveness is achieved by assuring a focus on offshore outsourcing and its cost return ratio, next generation software engineering, global software competitiveness, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and team innovation management. Austerity is achieved by assuring a focus on NIST cloud computing reference architecture, technical debt, software project management, earn value management, fixed price contracting, offshore outsourcing, and its cost return ratio, and next generation software engineering. The figure shows the top 28 software and supply chain risk management factors. Infrastructure is maintained by assuring a focus on supply chain management, risk management, assurance assertion management, capability maturity model integration, state of austerity, state of software, state of security, state of cloud security, NIST cloud computing reference architecture, NIST cloud service level agreements, <clears throat> and NIST Cyber Framework. Trust is achieved by assuring a focus on NIST Cloud Service Level Agreements, NIST Cyber Framework, Cyber Tactics, Software Assurance, Trusted Chain of Custody, Counterfeit and Tainted Component Detection, Software Product Engineering, Trustworthy Software Engineering, Technical Debt, and frequency of release. Competitiveness is achieved by assuring a focus on offshore outsourcing and its cost return ratio, next generation software engineering, frequency of release, global software competitiveness, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and team innovation management. Austerity is achieved by assuring a focus on NIST cloud computing reference architecture, technical debt, software project management, earned value management, fixed price contracting, offshore outsourcing and its cost return ratio, and next generation software engineering. The table shows a usage tally of software and supply chain risk management factors associated with each goal. The entry task validate exit ETVX paradigm assists in visualizing the operations of the software and supply chain risk management assurance framework. The ETVX paradigm provides a graphic notation for disciplining the recording of a target practice, process, architecture, or framework. Entry criteria provide the context and must be understood and satisfied before beginning the tasks. The entry criteria are composed of frameworks for supply chain risk management, capability maturity model integration, cyber and cloud, states of practice for austerity, software, security, and cloud, and skills and body of knowledge for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Task descriptions indicate what is to be accomplished. Tasks are composed of management, engineering, and process. Management includes risk management, software project management, fixed price contracting, and global software competitiveness. Engineering includes Software product engineering, trustworthy software engineering, next generation software engineering, and team innovation management. Process includes cyber tactics, trusted chain of custody, counterfeit and tainted component detection, and offshore outsourcing. 
<clears throat> validation verifies the quality of the work products and the process applied in terms of completeness, correctness, consistency, and rules of construction. Validate is composed of confidence levels, including assurance assertion management, <clears throat> assurance including software assurance, and compliance spanning uh, supply chain risk management, capability maturity model integration, cyber, and cloud. Exit criteria must be satisfied and resolved before completing the tasks. The exit criteria are composed of assurance metrics, compliance metrics for frameworks, non-compliance metrics for gaps, defects, incidents, counterfeit, and tainted. Product engineering metrics for trustworthiness, defects, complexity, size, and technical debt. Management metrics for productivity, earned value management, cost variance, and schedule variance. And process metrics for changes, frequency of release, and cost return ratio. All within this context, the framework advocates and advances the use of assurance assertions that are composed based on goals and objectives and appropriate indicators, measures, metrics, and analytics. The assurance of an attribute or aspect is specified by an assurance assertion composed of a claim, arguments, and evidence chain. Assurance assertions themselves are subject to validation and verification. The assurance assertion chain is validated when the correspondence between a claim and its arguments is shown to be clear and convincing with respect to completeness and correctness. The argument evidence segment of the assertion uh, assurance claim is verified according to the correspondence between the evidence and the argument. Here, four levels of confidence for appraising evidence are identified as follows. The evidence in support of the argument is sufficient. The preponderance of the evidence supports the argument. The evidence in support of the argument is clear and convincing. The evidence in support of the argument is beyond the shadow of a doubt. Risk is uncertainty and the prospect for loss or gain depending on the outcome of an event. An industrial strength software risk management practice is one that treats risk as uncertainty, carefully distinguishes risks from the sources of risk and problems, and doesn't use risk management as an off-ramp to avoid actually solving problems. Since risk is uncertainty, the challenge is to calculate the uncertainty of a risk and accept only those risks whose joint probability of occurrence and prospect for loss or gain are prudent choices. These are considered calculated risks. Setting goals is the first step in managing risk. Goals are attributes to be assured. Goals associated with smart and trusted software and supply chain risk management assurance include maintaining infrastructure, being trusted, being competitive, and being austere. Corporate success strategies need to be composed of essential goals and consequential objectives. Objectives associated with goals are directed at consequential outcomes. Sources of risk are objective outcomes whose achievement is at risk and uncertain. Problems are objective outcomes that have failed. Infrastructure is maintained by meeting the objectives associated with software and supply chain risk management framework, risk management, assertion management, austerity risk, software risk, internet risk, and cloud risk. Of these objectives, the following are problems, that is, they are failed objectives. Austerity risk, software risk, internet risk, and cloud risk. As a consequence, acquiring and operating satisfactory supply chain infrastructure is high risk. Trust is achieved by meeting the objectives associated with reputation, build security in, completeness, correctness, consistency, software product engineering, 
quality, technical depth, cybersecurity, cyber tactics, trustworthiness, <coughs> security, resilience, chain of custody, counterfeit, high assurance, survivability, mission compliance. Of these objectives, the following are problems, <clears throat> that is, they are failed objectives. Build security in, technical debt, cyber security, security, resilience. As a consequence, acquiring and operating a trusted supply chain is moderate risk. Competitiveness is achieved by meeting the objectives associated with control the workforce, <clears throat> STEM, control customers, control competition, control events, sustainability of wages. Of these objectives, the following are problems, that is, they are failed objectives, STEM, and control event threats. As a consequence, acquiring and operating a competitive supply chain is moderate risk. Austerity is achieved by meeting the objectives associated with economics, next generation software engineering, fixed price contracting, software product project management, earn value, offshore outsourcing, capability maturity model integration, and cloud computing. Of these objectives, the following is a problem. That is, it is a failed objective. Fixed price. As a consequence, acquiring and operating an austere supply chain is low risk. Supply chain assurance risk is calculated based on the factors evaluated for each goal. A count of factors that might serve as sources of problems in goal achievement and account of factors that represent objectives that are in a failed state. For each goal, the calculated risk is the number of problems divided by factors evaluated, expressed as a percent. Overall supply chain assurance risk is determined by rule. Rule one, if infrastructure or trust or competitiveness or austerity equals high risk, then supply chain is assigned high risk. Rule two, if infrastructure or trust or competitiveness or austerity equals moderate risk and not high risk, then supply chain is assigned moderate risk. Rule three, if infrastructure and trust and competitiveness and austerity equal high risk, then supply chain is assigned low risk. Where the calculated risk of any goal is 50% or over, it is assigned high risk, driving the overall supply chain risk assignment to high risk. Where the calculated risk of any goal between 25 and 50%, it is assigned moderate risk, driving the supply chain risk management to moderate risk, as long as there are no high risk goals. Where the calculated risk of any goal is under 25%, it is assigned low risk, driving the supply chain assignment to low risk, as long as there are no moderate risk or high risk goals. Based on analysis conducted, factors evaluated, sources of problems identified, and problems representing objectives in a failed state, the software and supply chain assurance risk is assigned high risk driven by the numerous infrastructure factors in a failed state, including austerity risk, software risk, internet risk, and cloud risk. In addition, trust and competitiveness are assigned moderate risk. Specific findings. Number one, maintaining infrastructure is considered high risk due to the failed or immature state of austerity, software, internet, and cloud. Number two, being trusted is considered moderate risk due to, the, due to the failed or immature state of build security in, technical debt, cyber security, security, 
and resilience. Number three, being competitive is considered moderate risk due to the failed or immature state of STEM and the control of event threats. Number four, being austere is considered low risk due to the failed or immature state of fixed price contracting. Recommendations. Uh, number one, supply chain success depends on maintaining an infrastructure of austerity, software, internet, and cloud. Very high priority attention and investment in management and engineering is recommended. Supply chain success depends on being trusted. High priority attention and investment in management, engineering, and process in the factors of build security in, technical debt, cybersecurity, security, and resilience is recommended. Number three. Supply chain success depends on being competitive. Priority attention and investment in STEM and the control of event threats is recommended. Number four, supply, cha supply chain success depends on being austere. Attention and investment in management, engineering, and process in the factor of fixed price contracting is uh, recommended. With austerity as the context and contemporary software and security as unmet challenges, the Software and Supply Chain Risk Management Assurance Framework focuses on the infrastructure of management, engineering, process, technology, and skills needed to acquire, field, and operate trusted, competitive, and austere software-based supply chains with intelligence and confidence. <clears throat> the intended benefit statement for the software and supply chain risk management assurance framework is to deliver smart and trusted supply chain acquisition and operation. The factors populating the framework begin with a heavy duty focus on trust, beginning with trust in industrial frameworks, industry state of the practice, and the underlying skills and body of knowledge. From there, other factors utilize smart validation mechanisms with rigorous confidence levels spanning management, engineering, and process operations. Finally, data-driven decision-making is fueled by a range of metrics for assurance, compliance, non-compliance, product engineering, management, and process. This comprehensive and realistic framing of solutions and challenges in the software and supply chain risk management assurance space will deliver intelligent and confident outcomes tied to the goals of the initiative, including maintaining infrastructure, being trusted, being competitive, and being austere. Maintaining infrastructure is considered high risk. Being trusted is considered moderate risk. Being competitive is considered moderate risk. Mm -hmm. And being austere is considered low risk. Based on analysis conducted, factors evaluated, sources of problems identified, and problems representing objectives in a failed state, the software and supply chain assurance risk is assigned high risk due to the failed or immature state of austerity, mm -hmm. software, internet, cloud, build security in, technical debt, cybersecurity, security, resilience, STEM, control of event threats, and fixed price contracting factors. Here is my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.